morning, dear hearts. We are on lesson 155. Please subscribe and uh, please hit the bell for notifications and please share. I'm saying that um, in the beginning instead of the end. So today's lesson, I will step back and let him lead the way. Now, I did this in years past and I'm going to say it again to substitute let truth lead the way and that actually is a sentence that is used within this lesson where it says step back in faith and let truth lead the way because when I let him lead the way that is also allowing truth to be in front and for me to follow truth and I follow truth to God and I walk with God. This lesson starts by saying that there is a way of living in the world that is not here, although it seems to be. And you do not change appearance, though you smile more frequently. Your forehead is serene, your eyes are quiet, and the ones who walk the world as you do recognize their own. And those who have not yet perceived the way, remember the Tao, the way, will recognize you also and believe that you are like them as you were before. So this lesson is talking about this path, this journey that we are taking, that we believe we are taking because ultimately we realize there was never a journey to take because we have always been with God and it's only our reawakening into our own truth that is leading us on this perceived journey. But as we are on this journey and how it seems to be for us, then there's different ways to appear and to walk in this world. And one of the ways that is, is telling us is that for, for many have chosen to renounce the world while still believing in reality. So that is one way that I give up everything that I believe is actually real. Another way is that I'm not giving up any of this and I'm going to choose only to be and follow every illusion, every ego thought. But this, this lesson is telling us that really there is a middle way and of course that's a Buddhist term. And in this middle way that we walk, we are walking away from the feeling of loss and we walk with others. We walk in the middle with truth ahead of us and with those of illusions in back of us. We walk with everyone. We walk with those who are poor in their thoughts because they are still believing and hanging on to every illusion. And we walk with those that we will call rich in thought or rich in truth because they are having the realization of what has been in the past and every illusion is never going to satisfy them or bring them happiness. And that's another thing that as we take this journey, we are really walking with those who are part of our ministry, the leading from yesterday. And those who walk with us, they are part of our ministry. They are our flock. And we walk with them and we hearken to them. We call to them to please come and walk with me. Follow this way, follow the truth, because we are walking away from death and we are heading towards our happiness. So walk with me in truth and let truth lead the way because that is how we will find our own happiness and we cannot truly be happy unless we have brought all of our brothers with us as well. So we are joining with truth and there is only one destination. All roads will lead to this one in the end. And as I have said in the past, that you know, that even yesterday, that this is a sure thing. This is guaranteed because every road leads to the path of happiness. Every road ultimately only leads to truth. So we cannot not go 
not follow, not end up, not have the realization of who we truly are. We join with truth at this journey's end, realizing that all dreams are now over. It says, you know not where you go, but one who knows goes with you. Let him lead you with the rest. We all go together. And the lesson says, we walk to God, pause and reflect on this. What way could give you more than everything or offer less and still content the Holy Son of God? We walk to God. We walk to God. We walk with God. We walk in truth and we find our journey's end where we have never truly left. So we cannot fail and we come and we do this for ourselves and for our brothers. We practice as we have been in the morning and the evening, five, 10, 15, up to 30 or more minutes, as long as we choose to spend in this space with God and with the truth. And remember, of course, hourly and repeat in the evening before we fall asleep. And the lines that we are given to go into our practice say, I will step back and let him lead the way for I would walk along the road to him. And it's a sure thing. That's it for today. I hope this helped. Please like, please share, please subscribe, please comment, um, please share, please pray. We pray. We know, we know our prayers are answered and we know that the truth is waiting for us to recognize it. Namaste.